Ella Marijalani Ulaich O'Connor, known by her stage name Lord, is a New Zealand singer-songwriter. Born in Takapuna and raised in Devonport, Auckland, she became interested in performing as a child. At age 13 she signed with Universal Music Group and was later paired with songwriter and record producer Joel Little. Her debut work The Love Club EP was commercially released in March 2013 and included the song Royals, which became an international crossover hit and won two Grammy Awards. Her first studio album, Pure Heroine, was released in September 2013 to generally positive reviews and commercial success. Life and Career Early Life Elijah O'Connor was born on November 7, 1996 in Takapuna. She was born to poet Sonia Elijah and civil engineer Vic O'Connor. She was raised in the nearby suburb of Devonport with two sisters and a brother. She is of Croatian and Irish ancestry. At age five, Lord followed her friend into a drama group and discovered a love of singing and acting. Lord's mother, a poet, encouraged her to read books. Lord attended Belmont Intermediate School, where in 2009 she and friend Louis MacDonald won the school's talent show. After seeing her performance at the talent show, MacDonald's father sent out recordings of Lord covering Duffy's song Warwick Avenue, and Pixie Lott's mama due to various talent scouts. When Lord was 13, A and a scout Scott McLaughlin signed her to Universal Music Group for development. UMG hired vocal coach Frances Dickinson to give her singing lessons twice a week for a year and she began working with a succession of songwriters but without success. McLaughlin told it quarters, Fundamentally I think she understood that she was going to write her own music but would ultimately need someone to help with the production side of it. 2011 a Euro 13, The Love Club EP and Pure Heroine. In December 2011, McLaughlin paired Lord with Joel Little, a songwriter, record producer and former Good Night Nurse lead singer. The pair recorded five songs for an EP at Little's Golden Age Studios in Morningside, Auckland and finished within three weeks. In an interview with New Zealand Listener, Lord explained the EP, It was basically all me, that stuff. I've always been frustrated with that misalignment, because with a pop star you know everything about them all the time. Whereas you get someone like Burial a Euro Eudonia Euro unregistered trademark T know what he looks like, but Eat a Euro unregistered trademark S awesome his music can be such a big thing but Eat a Euro unregistered trademark S only the music. And it frustrates me that those two can't a Euro unregistered trademark T mesh at all. It was more like a Euro Eudonia Euro unregistered trademark T really want to do a photo shoot yet a Euro unregistered trademark and then everyone made a big deal of it. Lord chose her stage name because she was fascinated with royals and aristocracy, but feeling that the name Lord was too masculine, she added an E to make it more feminine. In November 2012, Lord self-released the Love Club EP through her SoundCloud account for free download. After being freely downloaded 60,000 times, UMG decided to commercially release the EP for sales. On March 8, 2013, the Love Club EP was released digitally in Australia, New Zealand, and the United States. The release peaked at number two in New Zealand and Australia. It was eventually certified septuple platinum in Australia and platinum in New Zealand. On June 7, 2013, Lord released her second EP, Tennis Court EP, comprising of four songs. On September 27, 2013, Lord released her debut studio album, Pure Heroine. The album peaked atop the charts of New Zealand and Australia and reached a top five of charts in Canada, Ireland, Norway and the United Kingdom. In the United States, Pure Heroine peaked at number three on the Billboard 200, and was certified platinum by the Recording Industry Association of America, having sold 1.33 million copies. Royals was released as a single from the EP on June 3, 2013. In August 2013, With Royals became the first song by a female-led artist in 17 years to top the U.S. Alternative Songs chart since Tracy Bonham's Mother Mother in 1996. The song became a crossover hit and topped the U.S. Hot 100 chart in October 2013. With Royals, Lord became the youngest artist in over 25 years 
and the first solo artist ever from New Zealand, to top the US Hot 100. It also topped the UK singles chart and the Canadian Hot 100. Royals was critically well received, as it won the 2013 APRA Silver Scroll Award, a New Zealand Songwriting Award, and the Grammy Awards for Best Pop Solo Performance and Song of the Year at the 2014 ceremony. Lord became the third youngest winner in Grammy history and the youngest winner from New Zealand. She also became the youngest person to be nominated for the Grammy Award for Record of the Year. Tennis Court was released as her second single and reached number one on the New Zealand Singles Chart. Third single team reached the top ten of singles charts in New Zealand, Australia, Canada and the US. Lord's debut studio album, Pure Heroine, was released on September 27, 2013 and includes Royals, Tennis Court, and Team. It was well received by music critics, was nominated for a Grammy, and sold 1.5 million copies by the end of 2013. Her cover of Tears for Fears single Everybody Wants to Rule the World was included on the The Hunger Games, Catching Fire film soundtrack. In November 2013, Lord signed a publishing deal with Songs Music Publishing worth a reported $2.5 million after a bidding war between various companies including Sony and her label Universal. The agreement gives the publisher the right to license Lord's music for films and advertising. 2014 A Euro Present, second studio album, in the first half of 2014, Lord headlined various festivals, including Laneway, Lollapalooza, and Coachella. In April 2014, Lord performed all apologies with the surviving members of Nirvana during the band's induction ceremony at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. In December 2013, Lord announced that she had begun writing material for her second studio album. In June 2014, Lord revealed that her second studio album would be totally different from her debut album continuing to reveal her writing style had changed and that she is working on new music and it's definitely still at the beginning. Artistry, Influences, Lord grew up listening to soul musicians Etta James and Otis Redding, as well as her parents' favorite records by the likes of Cat Stevens, Neil Young and Fleetwood Mac. She cites the unusual vocals of Grimes, band's sleigh bells and producer SBTRKT as her prominent influences. Musically, Lord is inspired by Lana Del Rey, James Blake, Yajir, Animal Collective, Kanye West and Prince. She cites rapper J. Cole and electronic producers as influences, which she praises for the use of using their vocals in a really interesting way, whether it might be chopping up a vocal part or really lash or layering a vocal. Lord also stated that she was inspired by the initially hidden identities of Burial and the W.E.E.K.N.D., explaining, I feel like mystery is more interesting. Lord describes short story writers Raymond Carver, Wells Tower, Tobias Wolf, and Claire Bay Watkins as lyrical inspirations a Euro particularly noting their sentence structures. Lord stated her music is also inspired by authors, citing Tobias Wolf, Sylvia Plath, Walt Whitman and Leonard Cohen as influences on her writing. Musical style, Lord writes her music vocally, and does not play musical instruments on record or stage. Lord's music draws from alternative rock, art pop, dream pop, electronic rock and electronica. Her work has been compared to Grimes, Lana Del Rey and Sky Ferreira. Pure Heroine criticizes mainstream popular culture, yet examines ideas typical of teen pop music, such as social anxiety, romantic yearning, debilitating ennui, and booze-soaked rages according to Jonah Weiner of Rolling Stone. Public image, Lord's music and image is noted for challenging present-day pop and for challenging the music of artists including Miley Cyrus and Rihanna. Forbes placed Lord on their 30 under 30 feet list of young people, who are changing our world. Lord was also featured on Top Time magazine's list of the most influential teenagers in the world, with Time commenting that she was forging her own path. She was also praised as one of the most prominent artists in the post-millennial era that has made such an impact in popular music. Lord described her public image as coming naturally to her. Impact Lord has an impact on American singer Ptani Spears, who named Lord as an influence and commented that Lord is really different and cool. It's inspiring for me, 
and it makes people eager to listen to music, which helps everyone. In an interview with USA Today, English singer-songwriter Elton John praised Tennis Court, describing it as one of the most touching, beautiful things on earth. Lord was named the new queen of alternative by Billboard. Personal life, Lord is a self-identified feminist. She attended Takapune Grammar School from 2010 to 2013, completing year 12. She chose not to return in 2014 to complete year 13. In January 2014, media articles revealed that Lord is in a relationship with 24-year-old New Zealand-born photographer James Lowe, whom she met before her music career. Other ventures, in April 2014, it was announced Lord would be releasing Do Peace Makeup Limited Edition collection in collaboration with MAC Cosmetics, consisting of a lipstick titled after her debut album, Pure Heroine, and an eyeliner. Lord's song The Love Club, was included on the compilation to raise funds for those affected by Typhoon Haiyan, with the proceeds from the song being donated to the Philippines for the relief efforts of the Philippines Red Cross. She is working with the Electoral Commission to increase the voter turnout of young people at the 2014 New Zealand general election, despite the fact she is seven weeks too young to vote in the 20th September election herself. Discography Pure Heroine References External links Official website, Lord Discography at Discogs, Lord Discography at Music Brian's, Lord at MTV, Lord at the Internet Movie Database